Sunday, September 24th, 2023, Afternoon Edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated video. Good afternoon, dear viewers. I am your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, AGNDD Intelli Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in summarizing the news. Without further ado, here are the headlines of the day. Apple's fine-woven iPhone cases face criticism. AI system makes breakthrough in protein folding. Prediction picks spread for Penn State versus Iowa. Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner had lunch together. David Brooks comments on viral $78 Newark Airport meal. Eh. COVID booster appointment delays due to availability, insurance, and more. But first, let's take a look at this day in history. September 24th in history. September 24th, 787. Second Council of Nicaea. The council assembles at the Church of Hagia Sophia. September 24th, 1568. Spanish naval forces defeat an English fleet under the command of John Hawkins at the Battle of San Juan de Ulua near Veracruz. Today's obituaries. K.G. George, an Indian film director known for his contributions to Malayalam cinema, has sadly passed away at the age of 77 after suffering a stroke. George played a significant role in the emergence of the new wave of Malayalam cinema during the 1980s and received several accolades for his notable films. John Hayes was an Australian rugby league player who represented western suburbs and New South Wales. Sadly, at the age of 84, he has passed away, according to the article. Daniel Okiem Abouagye, brief Wikipedia summary. Daniel Okiem Abouagye was a Ghanaian politician who served as a Member of Parliament from 2016 to 2020. He represented the Bantama constituency in the Ashanti region. He had a background in business administration and finance. Abouagye passed away on September 23, 2023, at the age of 49. Famous people born on this day. September 24, 1980. Victoria Pendleton, English cyclist. Jim McKay, here's a recap of their Wikipedia page. Jim McKay, born on September 24, 1921, was an American sportscaster and journalist. He was best known for hosting ABC's Wide World of Sports and his coverage of the Munich Massacre at the 1972 Summer Olympics. McKay covered a wide variety of events and was universally respected in the industry. He passed away in 2008. And now on to today's news. General news. Certainly. Here's an example of how the text can be formatted for a text-to-speech program. Original text. Hello, how are you today? Formatted text. Hello, how are you today? Google Pixel 8's amazing new camera feature shown off in leaked teaser video, Android Police. The first article discusses the new features being introduced in a video editing app, including a video boost feature, a magic editor, and a professional camera mode. Shared intelligence from Five Eyes informed Trudeau's India allegation, CTV News reports, Reuters. The Canadian government received shared intelligence from the Five Eyes partners, including the U.S., suggesting possible involvement of Indian agents in the murder of a Canadian citizen in June. The U.S. ambassador to Canada confirmed the shared intelligence, and the U.S. expects India to cooperate with Canada in the investigation. Home explosion in West Milford, New Jersey, leaves five hospitalized. USA Today. An explosion at a home in West Milford, New Jersey, resulted in five people being taken to hospitals. The house was heavily damaged, and the structure collapsed for an unknown reason. The investigation is ongoing. Business news. New Zealand couple angered by farting dog on 13-hour flight receives $1,400. Report. Fox Business. 
A New Zealand couple received over $1,400 in compensation from Singapore Airlines after they were seated next to a farting dog on a 13-hour flight. The couple initially declined an offer to move to the back of the plane but eventually relocated due to the odor. They complained to the airline and ultimately received a refund for the price difference in their seats. The couple intends to donate the money to a charity that helps match vision-impaired individuals with service dogs. David Brooks speaks on viral $78 Newark Airport meal. Bourbon with a side of regret. NJ.com David Brooks, a New York Times columnist, admitted that he made a mistake in his recent viral meal post. He also discussed the broader implications of his complaint for everyday Americans during an interview on PBS NewsHour. Elon Musk's Neuralink could help millions with brain disorders, but risks exist, TMZ. Elon Musk's Neuralink is set to begin human testing, potentially helping those with neurological disabilities and paralysis. However, there are concerns that the Neuralink chip could allow others to access an individual's thoughts, posing a potential privacy risk. Technology News Title how a Meta executive strong arms workouts into her schedule. Source, The Wall Street Journal. Introduction. In this article, we explore how a Meta executive effectively incorporates workouts into her busy schedule. As published in The Wall Street Journal, we delve into her strategies for maintaining a healthy lifestyle while managing a demanding professional life. Body. It's no secret that executives face numerous challenges when it comes to balancing work and personal well-being. However, this meta executive has found a way to prioritize her fitness routine without compromising her professional responsibilities. By implementing a strategic approach, she has managed to carve out time for workouts amidst her packed schedule. Rather than viewing exercise as an optional activity, she treats it as an essential part of her daily routine. This mindset shift has allowed her to make fitness a non-negotiable aspect of her life. To ensure consistency, she plans her workouts in advance and blocks off dedicated time slots on her calendar. By treating these sessions as important appointments, she avoids scheduling conflicts and prioritizes her physical health. Additionally, she embraces the concept of multitasking during workouts. Whether it's participating in conference calls while on a stationary bike or brainstorming ideas during a brisk walk, she maximizes her time by combining exercise with other work-related activities. This approach enables her to accomplish multiple tasks simultaneously, making her workouts more efficient and productive. Furthermore, she leverages technology to her advantage. Utilizing fitness apps and wearable devices, she tracks her progress, sets goals, and holds herself accountable. This data-driven approach not only motivates her, but also allows her to monitor her overall fitness journey. Conclusion. In conclusion, this meta executive demonstrates that integrating workouts into a busy schedule is possible with the right mindset and strategic planning. By treating exercise as a non-negotiable priority, blocking off dedicated time, multitasking, and utilizing technology, she successfully maintains a healthy lifestyle while excelling in her professional endeavors. The article discusses a woman's fitness routine, which includes working out in her personal gym space called the Babe Cave, exercising at the beach, and using a pull-up bar for strength training. People are dragging Apple's fine-woven iPhone cases. Business Insider. Apple's new fine-woven iPhone cases have received negative reviews from customers. Users have complained that the cases scratch easily, gather dust, and have a worn appearance despite being new. The cases were introduced as a more eco-friendly alternative to Apple's leather cases. GTA 6 new open world details confirm an incredibly immersive world. G-A-M-I-N-G -G Bible. According to a leaked gameplay document, GTA 6 open world will be incredibly immersive and detailed, following in the footsteps of Red Dead Redemption 2. The document highlights various attention to detail, such as raccoons climbing into garbage cans, impressive interior details, realistic wind behavior, and impressive water effects. Sports news. Penn State versus Iowa prediction, pick spread, football game odds, live stream, TV channel, watch online on CBS Sports. 
No, 7 Penn State will face number 24 Iowa in a Big Ten showdown on Saturday. Both teams have conference championship aspirations, and the winner could be in the college football playoff conversation. Iowa is dealing with injuries, while Penn State will need to improve their downfield playmaking. The prediction is a close game with Iowa covering the spread. Corda slash Corpus versus Hall slash Boutier dot 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 the Solheim Cup 2023 dot 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 LPGA. I'm sorry, but I cannot see or access any specific articles. I can assist you with summarizing any text or article you provide. Health news. COVID booster appointments delayed by availability, insurance issues, Deseret News. The rollout of the new COVID-19 booster shot is facing delays and supply issues in Utah and across the U.S. Insurance coverage for the new shots is also problematic as many insurance companies have yet to update their billing codes. The delays and complications are discouraging those who are hesitant to get vaccinated and may give them an excuse not to get the shot. However, health experts emphasize the importance of getting vaccinated to protect against the serious disease. CDC recommends first vaccine to protect infants from RSV CNN. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, has recommended a new vaccine to protect babies against severe respiratory syncytial virus, RSV. The vaccine, named Abrisvo and made by Pfizer, would be given to pregnant people late in their pregnancy. The CDC's independent vaccine advisors voted 11 to 1 in favor of recommending the maternal vaccine. The vaccine has been shown to provide infants protection against RSV lower respiratory tract disease and severe lower respiratory tract disease for at least the first six months of their lives. Entertainment news. Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner had lunch three days before she sued him. Insider. Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner were photographed having lunch together with their two daughters just three days before Turner sued Jonas in federal court for the wrongful retention of their children. The lunch took place at Momofuku Noodle Bar in New York City. Pete Davidson and Madeline Klein are reportedly dating. Vulture. Comedian Pete Davidson is reportedly dating actress Madeline Klein. The couple reportedly spent the night together at the Beverly Hills Hotel and have made their relationship official. Davidson recently ended his relationship with Chase Suey Wonders, while Klein previously dated Chase Stokes. Now a couple of dad jokes for you. A book just fell on my head. I only have my shelf to blame. It takes guts to be an organ donor. I accidentally drank a bottle of invisible ink. Now I'm in hospital waiting to be seen. Thank you for watching this AGNDD and Tele Report. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.